I don't understand, you know, how one possibly prepares. It doesn't matter how many debate and, and speech classes you've taken when, when they're they're purposely not listening to you, mm -hmm. um, talking over you, mansplaining. I love that. Can I demonstrate? Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you deal with that when people are constantly interrupting you and, and um, distorting your words while you're trying to still get the sentence up? I just think when someone's making a fool of themselves, you just got to let them rip, you know? Um, so... <laughs> They, they really did not need a lot of assistance in that hearing. And, and it's an open mic and it's on C-SPAN and so just nod and let them continue, continue going, yes. I wasn't, I wasn't you know, uh, shocked that people were so ignorant, but I was shocked that someone who knows they're on camera, they're in Congress, they have people who can go research things for them. Um, you know, and I hope that they can read, but... Um, <laughs> They were so ignorant about what goes on in healthcare. Correct. And they still are. I mean, these are the same folks who are now trying to basically repeal the Affordable Care Act and block millions of women from coming to Planned Parenthood. So nothing's changed. The only thing that's changed is now they have an ally in the White House, and that's really scary. Uh, I mean, you, I, if, you saw the, if you saw the hearing or even a little bit of it, I mean, my favorite part, of course, was the opening when the chairman of the hearing brings out a chart, which wasn't even really a it was a graph, but it had no y-axis, as fake. Rachel Maddow <laughs> pointed out. It was like, hmm, those kind of go in the wrong way. <laughs> well, I mean, I looked at it, and he said, well, this is a Planned Parenthood chart. And I said, no, I don't think so. And, I, of course, then at the bottom it said, like, you know, it was created by Americans United for Life, which is a big anti-choice uh, organization. And I pointed that out to Jason Chaffetz, who said, well, we're going to get to the bottom of that. And, uh, and I, I don't know if you saw, but he actually yes. has decided to resign from Congress. So I know. sometimes just... Well... You know, he has a pre-existing condition, and he has government health care, and they made sure also that all government employees, if they're using the Affordable Care Act, they will be able to keep um, the Obamacare elements that they're getting rid of for all the rest of us to deal with his foot and mouth disease. I think it was foot and mouth disease that he had. I'm not sure, but I could be wrong, and I'm okay with it. That's why I'm not an elected official. Yeah.